Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In the last video, we studied how to enable serial communication interrupt function. In today video I will show you how to interface 4x4 matrix keypad with PIC 16 F877 microcontroller. Let's start the video. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G and click on the bell icon. Four x four matrix keypad. The four x four keypad module consists of sixteen keys. These keys are organized in a matrix of rows and columns. All these switches are connected to each other with a conductive. The four x four matrix keypad usually used as input in a project. A matrix keypad is the kind of keypad you see on microwave oven, gas pumps, and calculators. You can see in the following diagram. That is 4x4 matrix keypad. 4x4 means. It has 4 rows. And 4 columns. And it has total 16 keys. Each row and column has 1 key. Key 1, key 2, key 3, and so on. How the 4x4 matrix keypad works. To detecting a pressed key, the microcontroller grounds all rows by providing 0 to the output pins, and then it reads the columns. If the data read from columns is equal 1111, it means no key has been pressed. We will provide ground or logic 0 to all rows. And read data from columns side. If columns equal to 1111, it means no key has pressed. For now let us assume that, the circled key is pressed and see how the key press can be detected by a software routine. If key 6 is pressed. Now the software has to scan the pins connected to columns of the keypad. If it detects a logic 0 in any one of the columns, then a key press was made in that column. This is because the event of the switch press shorts the C2 line with R2. Hence C2 is driven low. You can see in this figure is key 6 is pressed. Row 2 and column 2 driven low or logic 0. Once the column corresponding to the key pressed is located, the next thing that the software has to do is to start writing logic 1 to the rows sequentially, one after the other, and check if C2 becomes high. The logic is that if a button in that row was pressed, then the value written to that row will be reflected in the corresponding column, C2, as they are short circuit. Now we will again send data from column side and read data from row side one by one. If a button in that row was pressed, then the value written to that row will be reflected in the corresponding column, C2. The procedure is followed till C2 goes high when logic high is written to a row. In this case, a logic high to the second row will be reflected in the second column. We already know that the key press happened at column 2. Now we have detected that the key is in row 2. So, the position of the key in the matrix is 2 2. Project, how to interface 4x4 keypad with microcontroller. In this project, we will interface the 4x4 keypad with PIC 16 F877 microcontroller. If we press any key it will show on LCD. The keypad will have interfaced with port C of the microcontroller and the LCD will have interfaced with port D of the microcontroller. Here is the circuit diagram we are using in our project. It is PIC 16 F877 microcontroller. Pin number 1 is master reset. If we press the switch it will reset the microcontroller. Port C interfaced with LCD data pins. Pin RD0 interfaced with EN pin of LCD. Pin RD1 interfaced with RW pin of LCD. Pin RD2 interfaced with RS pin of LCD. Pin VSS connect with ground. Pin VDD connect with positive 5 volt. Contrast pin VEE connect with variable. And the value of the variable is 5 kilo ohm and 4x4, keypad interfaced with port B of the microcontroller. Pin numbers 13 and 14 interface with an 8 MHz crystal. And 22 PF capacitors connected with the crystal. 
Pin number 11 and 32 connected with positive 5 volts. Pin number 12 and 31 connected with ground volt. Let draw this circuit in Proteus. The circuit is ready now we will write its code in micro CPIC. Here is the window where we can write the code. I already wrote the code otherwise video gets very long. I will copy the code. And I will paste it here. Now I will define you the code. Hashtag define LCD port C. Define port C as LCD. Hashtag define keypad port B. Define port B as keypad. S bit EN at port DB0. Define enable pin at port D pin RD0. S bit RW at port DB1. Define red right pin at port D pin RD1. S bit RS at port DB2. Define RS pin at port D pin RD2. Void MS delay. Unsigned char time. Define delay function with variable name time. Unsigned char. Y, Z. Define variable name Y and Z. 4. Y equals 0. Y less than time. And increment Y. For loop for delay. 4. Z equals 0. Z less than 254. And increment Z. For loop for delay. Void delay. Unsigned char time. Define delay function with variable name time. Unsigned char. M define variable name M. 4. M equals 0. M less than time. And increment M. For loop for delay. Void LCD CMD. Unsigned char X. Define LCD CMD function with variable named X. LCD equals X. Send data to LCD. 
RS equals 0. RS pin equal to logic 0. RW equals 0. RW pin equal to logic 0. EN equals 1. EN pin equal to logic 1. MS delay. Call delay function. EN equals 0. EN pin equal to logic 0. Void LCD data. Unsigned char x. Define LCD data function with variable named x. LCD equals x. Send data to LCD. RS equals 1. RS pin equal to logic 1. RW equals 0. RW pin equal to logic 0. EN equals 1. EN pin equal to logic 1. MS delay. Call delay function. EN equals 0. EN pin equal to logic 0. Void LCD INI void. LCD initialized function. MS delay. Call delay function. We used maximum delay because LCD needs some time to power on. LCD CMD 0x38. Call LCD command function and give hex value 38. Set LCD in 8 bit mode, 2 line mode, and 5 by 10 dots. LCD CMD 0x0e. Call LCD command function and give hex value 0e. Set LCD display and cursor on. LCD CMD 0x01. Call LCD command function and give hex value 01. That is command for clear LCD. Unsigned char key press 44. This line defined 4x4 array pattern. Means it has 4 value in rows and 4 value in columns. 7, 8, 9, divide. 4, 5, 6, multiply. 1, 2, 3, minus. Space, 0, equals and plus. Unsigned char C-O-L-L-O-C. Row L-O-C. Define variables. Unsigned char find key. Define find key function. This function return the value. Keypad equals 0xf0. Send 1111000000 to keypad. Do loop. Keypad equals 0xf0. Send 1111000000 to keypad. COLLOC equals keypad and 0xf0. Mask keypad with 0xf0 and copy result in COLLOC. While COLLOC not equal to 0xf0. Stay in this loop until all keys release. Do loop. Do loop. Delay 20. Call delay. COLLOC equals keypad and 0xf0. Mask keypad with 0xf0 and copy result in COLLOC. While COLLOC equals 0xf0. Stay in this loop until all keys release. This do loop check again if key press or not. Delay 1. Call delay. COLLOC equals keypad and 0xf0. Mask keypad with 0xf0 and copy result in COLLOC. While COLLOC equals 0xf0. Stay in this loop until all keys release. This do loop confirm key is pressed. While 1. Keypad equals 0xfe. Ground row 0. COLLOC equals keypad and 0xf0. Mask keypad with 0xf0 and copy result in COLLOC. If COLLOC not equal to 0xf0. Row detected. Row LOC equals 0. Save row. Break. Exit from while loop. Keypad equals 0xfd. Ground row 1. COLLOC equals keypad and 0xf0. Mask keypad with 0xf0 and copy result in COLLOC. If COLLOC not equal to 0xf0. 
Row detected. Row LOC equals 1. Save row. Break. Exit from while loop. Keypad equals 0 XFB. Ground row 2. COLLOC equals keypad and 0 XF0. Mask keypad with 0 XF0 and copy result in COLLOC. If COLLOC not equal to 0 XF0. Row detected. Row LOC equals 2. Save row. Break. Exit from while loop. Keypad equals 0 XF7. Ground row 3. COLLOC equals keypad and 0 XF0. Mask keypad with 0 XF0 and copy result in COLLOC. If COLLOC not equal to 0 XF0. Row detected. Row LOC equals 3. Save row. Break. Exit from while loop. We find the row. Now we will find the column. If COLLOC equals equals 0 XE0. If column equal to 1110 then select column 0. Return key press row LOC and 0. Call key press array and give row LOC and column 0. And find pressed key. Else. If COLLOC equals equals 0 XD0. If column equal to 1101 then select column 1. Return key press row LOC and 1. Call key press array function and give row LOC and column 1 data and find pressed key. Call key press function find key and return pressed key. Else. If COLLOC equals equals 0 XB0. If column equal to 1011 then select column 2. Return key press row LOC and 2. Call key press array function and give row LOC and column 2 data and find pressed key. Call key press function find key and return pressed key. Else. Return key press row LOC and 3. Call key press array function and give row LOC and column 3 data and find pressed key. Call key press function find key and return pressed key. Void. Main. Main function. TRISC equals 0x00. Set port C as output port. TRISDRD0 equals 0. Set port D pin RD0 as output pin. TRISDRD1 equals 0. Set port D pin RD1 as output pin. TRISDRD2 equals 0. Set port D pin RD2 as output pin. TRISB equals 0 XF0. Set port B higher 4 bits as input pins, and lower 4 bits as output pins. Option REG equals 0 X00. Enable internal port B pull up resistors. LCD INI. Call LCD initialization. MS delay 200. Call MS delay. While 1. Repeat forever. LCD data. Call find key function and display pressed key on LCD. Now we will create the hex file. Just click on the build icon. Finished successfully. File is created now we will load hex file into the microcontroller. Double click on the microcontroller. Select the hex file. OK. And click on the run simulation. Now if we press any key it will show on LCD. 1. 2. 3. 4. 5. 6. 7. 8. 9. 0. Divide. Multiply. Minus. Equals. If you have any problem with the code let me know in comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And. Keep watching Star Technology 5G.